Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason and this is your daily relaxation session for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. I don't know why I said the word stress, like stress, stress, but uh, that's how it came out. A um, bit of a mouthful for a title. Uh, I've actually thought of other things I could have added to the title, such as depression, um, bereavement, you know, things like that, where including a bit of relaxation or introducing some relaxation, some calmness, some serenity into your life, into your mind, into your body would actually be beneficial in order to allow you to think more clearly when you are awake, to get in touch with how you feel in that moment, you know, allow you to have more mindfulness so these are some of the benefits that are gained from regular hypnosis sessions, which is why I do a daily one. Of course, well I say of course, but I also do a weekly chronic pain relief session uh, on a Tuesday, every Tuesday, and a Thursday sleep hypnosis session every Thursday. So... Uh, you can see those on YouTube and on my uh, SoundCloud podcast also. So, I've got no idea what I did yesterday or the day before. I forget them as soon as I've done them really. So, <clears throat> what I think I'm going to do is just see what happens. So I'd like you to get yourself comfortable into a, a chair, lying down on a flat surface, a bed, or whatever is suitable for you, as long as you're safe and comfortable. And remember that, you know, you haven't got to stay in a particular position physically. You know, it, for whatever reason, if your neck's like that, you know, because you're relaxed, but then if your neck starts to get a bit uncomfortable, then just move it. Hypnosis isn't paralysis. Hypnosis isn't being unconscious. I deal with your unconscious mind, but it's not unco being unconscious. Of course, if you fall asleep, then fine. But this relaxation session is a mixture of gradual relaxation of different parts of your body and your mind, but also at the same time, giving suggestions. I, I guess I don't call them suggestions, I, I call them ideas. Giving you some ideas about different ways that you may choose to think about things. And when you're in a really relaxed situation, a really, really relaxed state of mind, Similar to that point between when you're asleep and waking up and maybe that point when you're awake but you're kind of on the verge of falling asleep. That point is very much kind of like a hypnosis uh, feeling. So you're not asleep, you're not awake. Well, you are awake but you're not fully awake and fully alert the way you would be in a sense of um, everything firing on all cylinders and your brain all active and thinking about what's going to happen next and being aware of things that maybe aren't that important or relevant to your time at that moment but in hypnosis you can be focused your focus can be a lot stronger than it would normally be because you're focusing on a lot less than you would normally be. 
So there's a clue really in that, that uh, if you want to increase your focus, you can decrease the quantity of things that you are focusing on, which then allows that focus of attention to zoom in and magnify, allowing you to make changes in your life in your mind and your body that maybe you really didn't believe was possible before. And now you realize it is. So possible to really make changes easily because you choose to, not because I tell you to or because I suggest, you know, something because you choose how you live your life and you choose what you do next. You have choices and that's something that's very important to remember that actually you're choosing to watch this video, you're choosing to listen to my voice, you're choosing to absorb my words into your mind. Therefore, you're choosing to accept those ideas, if you choose to, of course. I offer the ideas as a choice. That's why I like the word suggestions quite nice, because if someone says, would you, you know, would you like that? They're not saying you have to have it, it's just a suggestion. So in the same way, I just offer ideas, ideas of comfort, ideas of deep relaxation, ideas such as the more you watch my videos, the easier you will become deeply relaxed. Pretty much instantly, the moment the video starts, you will start to feel calm, loose in your body, and you'll feel that familiar sense of comfort throughout your body, through the muscles, in your mind, as your mind slows down, calming, relaxing. And there's a real, a real feeling of just letting go. That's a nice thing. That's short, isn't it? Isn't it a nice thing to be able to just say, you know what, I'm just going to let go. I'm just going to have a nice, relaxed time. No worries, no stresses, no anxieties, no panics, no nothing. Because none of that stuff is invited to this party. And that's what this is, in a sense, this is a party. But not a party where you're dancing around and drinking alcohol or doing any of the things that maybe people do at parties. I can't remember, it's been such a long time. But this is your party celebrating you, celebrating your life, celebrating your accomplishments, celebrating you who you are, which means no one else needs to be invited, just yourself. But as you get to that door, you know, you've got the doorman standing there and they won't let you into the party unless you hand over certain things, maybe things that you've got in your backpack, things that you've been carrying around on your shoulders, you know, maybe, uh, suitcases full of stuff and maybe you didn't even realize you had that stuff with you and you get to that doorway of that maybe that nightclub that magical nightclub that's yours to the party that's celebrating you and you're the only person invited because that's all that's needed because during this time it's all about you 
And yet you're standing there at the doorway wanting to enter. But the doorman, one man, one woman, they're stopping you and they're saying, no, you can't come in unless you hand over that stuff. And you say to them, what stuff do you want us to hand over? What, 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 what are you talking about? And they say, you must hand over your stress. So you look and you see a bag and it's got the word stress on it. And you hand it to them. You just, you know, let them have it. It's got wheels on it. It's a suitcase. It's got wheels on it. It's got the big word stress on it. You hand it to them. Because you're not allowed in there with stress. So they've taken it off you. And you say, okay, I'll go in now. And they said, wait. Wait, you can't go in yet. So what? Why can't I go in now? I've given you the stress what you asked for. They said, yeah, but you still got anxiety. You can't go in with anxiety. You have to leave anxiety out of the party. You must give the anxiety away. So you hand them the suitcase. It's got the words anxiety on. And then you take a step forward, you know, thinking, great, I can go in now. And they said, sorry, you can't go in yet. I was like, why? I've given you stress. I've let go of stress. You've let go of anxiety. Now, what, what else do you want from me? And they say to you, you've, you need to give us the panic. Need to give us the panic attacks. So you decide, okay, I've got to let go of the panic attacks as well. I've already let go of the stress, you've already let go of the anxiety, now you're going to let go of the panic attacks. So you hand over that case, it's got the word panic attacks on it, and um, you think that's fine. Go, go through now, I've got rid of, let go of stress, you've let go of anxiety, you've let go of panic attacks, you've let it go, it's gone. So now you can step inside to this party of yours, celebrating your accomplishments and uh, how amazing you are. But again, you're not allowed in yet. I was like, why, why am I not allowed in yet? And uh, they say, we, you need to let go of the, uh, the self-hatred, the self-anger. And I'm like, well, do I really have that? I don't really have, do I have self-hatred and anger towards myself? And I said, you know, and, and they say, well, well, do you ever think? bad things about yourself? Do you ever say things to yourself, call yourself names in your head maybe, and maybe call yourself stupid or an idiot, or you know, blame yourself for things that are clearly not your fault? Do you ever uh, criticize yourself? Do you ever do any of that stuff? Blame yourself? Are you ever cruel to yourself? Oh, it's okay, yeah, I do do that, that's true. Never really thought of it as self-hatred before. Um, that's cool, oh, it's an eye-opener. So they say, so well, you need to hand that over before you can go into the party celebrating yourself. So I hand it over. But there's more than one bag. There's, there's a few of them. There's self-anger, self-hatred denial there's all like clustered all together um, saying horrible things to yourself all the things we've written all the, all the cases have got these written on the sides so I hand them all over you hand them all over and um, 
going to take a step in. So surely that's got to be it now. Um, you feel so light, you feel so relaxed. Uh, you've let go so much, and more than maybe you ever thought is possible to let go of in such a short period of time. And you can feel so calm knowing that actually that stuff's no longer dragging you down. There's a sense of release where you can, you just, you know, you just feel so good. And it's a real pleasure, but it's, but you're not sure what to do with it because there's a sense of familiarity with the suffering which was involved in those uh, things that you have let go. The familiarity of having that stress, anxiety, panic, uh, self-hatred, anger towards yourself, that internal dialogue, being cruel to yourself. There's a familiarity that you had connected to that stuff that you've let go. And it's as if there's, there's a gap left it's a hole left where um, that stuff used to be. It's now gone because you let go of it. But what what do you do now? Because it's like a relationship has ended. I mean, it's a good thing that it's ended, but it's you had a relationship, unhealthy as it was, with that stuff that you've let go. But you think, okay, fair enough, I'll just I'll step inside anyway. And you feel calm, feel relaxed, you feel loose. You, you, you know, there's nothing negative going on in your mind because that stuff's all gone. And just go to step inside and they say, sorry, you can't come in. I was like, what now? There's no more cases that I can see uh, that I brought with me. They said, well, it's not a case of that. Excuse the pun for using the word case. They both laughed. I thought it was a pretty crap joke, but they laughed because they used the word case. And then um, they said, you can't go in without taking some stuff in with you. You're missing some things. I said, you're joking. You've taken all this stuff off me. And they're saying I can't go in without you giving me stuff to take in. They said, yes. I said, okay, what, what, do you, what do I need? They said, well, you need to take this. And they handed me a bag which said relaxation. Okay, I took the bag. And you feel relaxed. It actually, it started to fill that gap up where the stress used to be before you let it go. You got that feeling of relaxation filling that gap up you know reaching all the different parts of your body all the different uh, muscles and the bones really having an effect quite instantly it's as if that relaxation was just um, injected directly into your bloodstream and just it's reached everywhere really really quickly including your mind and your brain and, and you just breathe in and breathe out and you feel so calm and you're just like okay brilliant well that was nice thank you and you step forward and they again they stop you and it's like this is getting silly now why are you stopping me again I'm so relaxed and you know they said yeah but what you need is, you know, this kindness, self-kindness, being kind to yourself. You got rid of the anger. You got rid of the dialogue, self, you know, internal dialogue where you were being horrible to yourself. But you need to replace that. And they handed me this case which was just said, be kind to yourself on it. I said they handed it to me. They wheeled it over because it was big, massive old thing. 
and I just touched it and something happened. It's just this energy just filled my body. It's filling you up completely. This sense of just inner kindness. Just filling that gap up. And it just moves through your body, through your limbs, your fingers, your toes, your stomach, your chest, your spine, back of your neck, your face, your arms, your eyes. Just filling you up and your mind just filling up with this feeling of being kind to yourself, self-kindness. And it just feels so nice and it's as if you're being given permission to just do what's natural. And you're about to take a step forward in and they don't stop you this time. They said, wait a minute, before you go in, you just one one last thing you can have. And they hand this to you. And it's a, a case, another case. And it's got the word forgiveness. And I said to them, forgiveness for what? And they said, everything. Just allow it into your life allow it into your mind and your body and it takes care of everything else so I said thank you and I just took a hold of it and it's a powerful feeling enters your body it's not it's not like the other feelings it's a real feeling of gentle but at the same time powerful healing energy seems to build and fill your body and your mind it's a really deep deep feeling of serenity as that forgiveness completely overtakes every atom of your being And you can feel the forgiveness just pushing into the future, lighting the path ahead of you. And at the same time, you can feel it lighting up the past as well, healing the past, allowing that forgiveness to just do its work and its wonder. using its power to forgive where forgiveness is required in order for you to move on with your life relaxed and calm loose knowing that the next few seconds you can just really enjoy that feeling of release you can feel it in your mind maybe it's tingly There's changes happening, all positive, all kind. It's got to be time for you to just step inside now. I mean, you've got everything you need and kind of part of you feels you're not even that bothered about the party now because you feel so good. 
It's as if the party's already within you. And you realise actually that the doorway is just a mirror. And there is no nightclub. There is no party. It's just you. Because you don't need a building to walk into to feel wonderful. And you can just notice how you feel physically and emotionally. But then the door staff, the man and the woman, they say, wait, before you go, before you come back and you know, continue that feelings of feeling wonderful and get on with the rest of your day. There's something that you've forgotten, something that we'd like to show you. So you say, okay. And they just lead you over to where all those bags were, the old ones, the ones that you let go of, that they took off you. And you notice that there's a big fire, just controlled like an incinerator. Safe to be near, of course, but maybe we wear goggles just to make sure that it's safe. Maybe you want to put a protective jacket on, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. And you can take each of these bags and just drop it into the incinerator. One at a time. Just notice how it feels. I'm going to keep quiet for one minute while you drop all of those bags into the incinerator and watch them just disintegrate. Now. those bags have gone and if there are any left just put them all into the incinerator now and as you walk away from that incinerator leaving those bags and those feelings and everything connected to that in the past you can just feel wonderful Enjoy those feelings that you have in your body and in your mind. And I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to three, you can open your eyes feeling wide awake, fully alert, ready to enjoy the rest of the day, feeling absolutely wonderful. One. 
Starting to be aware of your surroundings. Two, notice any sounds in the background, noticing how you physically feel right now. Remembering that every time you hear my voice or see my videos, you'll instantly and naturally feel completely relaxed in your body and in your mind, calm and serene, completely focused. Three, you can spend the rest of the day feeling wonderful and being aware of just how much change has occurred in your life, maybe with the question mark of how amazing the future is going to be from now onwards for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.